This week, our race of the week comes from Truro Raceway, one of the most prestigious and historic racetracks in Atlantic Canada, and the scene of many fast miles last Sunday was no different. Truro Raceway, Mother's Day 1986, and there are some distinguished women in attendance. Mrs. Nellie Lyons has been coming to this track for over 50 years. She'll be in the winner's circle to congratulate today's victors. The starters, Sky Glenn Benson, driven by Gary Daniels in the two-hole. Keystone Pompano, driven by Carl Bagnall. Duke Bullet, driven by Frank Fagan, Jr. P.J. Mike, driven and owned by Truro's own Bernard McCollum. Miles N. Berry, driven by John Ewell. And number seven, Rockin' Diablo, driven by Emmons McKay. Here they come. They're off then facing as they get away. Sky Glenn Benson out from the rail driving quickly for the lead. On the outside comes Duke Bullet with Keystone Pompano getting away third. Racing now from fourth is Rockin' Diablo. PJ Mike was away fifth. Down the early trailer into the back stretch is Miles and Barry. They turn into the back straight and onto the opening quarter they go with the lead number one Sky Glenn Benson for Gary Daniels. They have it by a length. Here comes Keystone Pompano quickly up on the outside for two and driving after the leader. Duke Bullet will look at the action from three. Then there's a gap of four lengths. Back to Rock and Diablo in four. Then facing from five is PJ Mike and still trailing is Miles N. Barry. The opening quarter was a quick 29 and four fifths. With the top spot and setting the pace, number one Sky Glenn Benson. He'll take them off the upper turn in front of the stand for the first time they come to the half way marker. It's Guy Glenn Benson with the lead. Keystone Pompano now finds a hole in two. To the outside, here comes Duke Bullet. Racing from four with cover is Rockin' Diablo. In along the fence goes P.J. Mike. And the trailer is Miles N. Berry. Into the 5 8 turn they go. It's still Sky Glenn Benson charting the path. On the outside, Duke Bullet is driving from two. The half was reached in a minute and four fifths. In along the fence, P.J. Mike sneaks up to be third. Keystone Pompano follows cover in four. Miles N. Berry along the fence is five. And Rock and Diablo is your trailer. Down the back stretch, they go to the three quarters. Up on the outside to take over the top spot is Duke Bullet. Racing now on the outside for two and going after the leaders, Keystone Pompano. Sky Glenn Benson drops back in three. P.J. Mike is within striking distance four. Miles and Barry and pulled up at the back is Rock and Diablo. Three quarters and one thirty-two and one fifth. It's Duke Bullet with the top. Racing from two is Keystone Pompano. There goes P.J. Mike to the outside. Off the upper turn they come through the stretch for the wire. Duke Bullet, P.J. Mike to the outside is closing quickly. They drive to the wire. It's P. P.J. Mike taking over the top. It'll be P.J. Mike. Duke Bullet. It's tight to the show spot. It looks like Miles and Barry. Winning driver and owner, Bernie McCollum. I got the mare, Miss Stanfield, on the mare, so I, I got her and so I decided I was going to breed her, and I didn't know who to, so I said I'll breed the mare, Missy Stepper. I was talking to Mike Farrell, and he said he would, so that's the way she went. Now, you had some problems with the horse in the early goings, eh? Yes, yeah, the two-year-old, he had a little problems. He had a foot problem, and he got three-year-old he started coming pretty good and then he hurt himself in the stall a couple of times but i guess it's all worth the while now pj mike a long shot wins the truro mother's day pace in 203 and three this is paul menier for at the track